So I think this Ottoman war is going to take a little bit longer than I thought because I know that the Assyrians have a pretty big military behind all that fog of war. I think I need to get the best location grasping, I guess, the territory all around the Assyrian Empire. We're going to have to take much more than just the Ottoman capital. So let's start. We have to begin to take a lot of Ottoman coastal cities. Uh, I don't think we're anywhere near the point where we can maybe attack the Assyrian capital. Uh, just so you guys know, I did let a turn pass by. So anyways, let's let's go ahead and do this. Um, not much. I kind of just went around to a lot of my cities and had them work even more wealth or, or like, I don't know, things like atomic bombs that would take a little bit longer. That way I'm not constantly having to double check and, and see what they're doing at all moments in time. Um, yeah, so we have a few more atomic bombs coming. I'm down to only eight remaining sources of uranium every all the other uh, strategic resources of uranium are being used up either they already built have already been built inside of a bomb that is actually existing in my empire or it's still being produced within the cities so yeah we're building a lot and um, I mean for sure I think once we get the right strategy and the right right positioning uh, for the Assyrian capital then yeah we should be able to walk in no problem but uh, I, I just I just want to make sure that we have the perfect opportunity to take them out because if we're not careful, it might get a little bit longer. I mean, they still haven't built any spaceship parts up yet, so I, I don't feel super rushed. Uh, but yeah, I, I feel okay. So let's go ahead and take this out. If I can only, if I only use this, the artillery units, that would be great uh, to take this city down. It looks like I'm going to get at least four attacks, so then boom, the battleships can just move up on, uh, right up north. And yeah, we're going to walk right into this city without using any sort of naval attack. We'll use this guy since he's already in the yellow, and my fresh infantry unit will just go straight around. Uh, again, we're going to annex it. We probably have enough happiness to sustain for the rest of the game. I'll keep you on the road just outside of Versus Bombardments uh, area. Ooh, I didn't know there's... Oh, gosh, there's another city up there. Okay, so we're going to need to split these guys off, probably. Land units go this way. Uh, remaining southern naval units, the southern fleet needs to go after Bursa. And then maybe this island city just to kind of burn it down. We'll see. Um, yeah, you're actually in range. I don't know if I... I don't... Yeah, you know, I can put you in range of the, the city's bombardment. I don't mind that. Uh, also, if we could maybe squeeze in over here. Hopefully there's no more Ottomans here. Of course there are. Jeez. There is, of course, some hot Ottoman cities. They're everywhere. I never realized how closely impacted they were right into their like little empire it's that's terrible you actually have extra range let me back you up and have you yeah free up that spot for someone that doesn't have extra range perfect so burst is already down by a lot uh you also have extra range that's perfect bam and uh get the admiral up in there We've got plenty of artillery units we have plenty of bombers as well uh, you're not you're not fully healthy yet. I'm going to have you guys heal because we don't really need you for right now. I don't think I can get an attack, a melee attack on Bursa at the moment, so there's no point in having those bombers attack right now. They might as well heal themselves up. Uh, you can get an admiral, I guess, too. I do have a fresh destroyer that's just been healed up inside of Mecca. He's good to go. The other destroyer... Oh, actually, this is a battleship inside of Giza. Okay, you're going to move up north. And uh, I don't even know what we're going to do with this land ship, but I'll keep you there for now. Can I... Uh, that's right, these guys, this airport's all filled out, these air slots. Okay, so finally the general has made it, bam, let's smack it down. Boom, so now we have a, I mean, it, it only gave us one tile, but it's a very, very important tile to grab, because now we can move all throughout uh, the, if we have to get up to the Black Sea with this fleet here, located in the easternmost part of the Mediterranean, then we can do so, uh, which is really good. And I'm not sure what they have right here just south of the Black Sea, who knows? I mean, the Ottomans have packing a lot of cities in the very close, tight territory, so we might see plenty more cities that we might have to take over. Okay, so uh, this guy's not doing so well. Let's see what we can do. This is a battleship. Um, you know, if we just take... Hmm. I want to destroy that Grey War infantry. I obviously want to destroy the privateer as well. I should have found somebody else to do that attack with. Okay, boom, we'll kill you. This is a destroyer. Uh-oh. Did I done goof? No, I didn't done goof that bad. I can still hit this city, and I should be able to walk in. Um, okay, it's a risk, I know, but I'm going to take it. I'm going to take the risk. Boom, yep, that we took it. Nice. Okay, so let's annex a city. Not bad, not bad. Okay, I like it. Pretty successful first war. You need to back up, Privateer. I would like to not lose you if I, if I can help it. That way, you can still more naval units in case, because I'm sure the Black Sea has quite a few. Uh, and yeah, this is actually a perfect time to go ahead and nuke this city. It's got 25 population, and uh, we do have a destroyer 
very close by. We can probably use two and just walk in right now. We could probably nuke the city twice. Because we've got plenty of bombs. We might as well, right? That's what I think. Let's, let's nuke it twice. And then I don't know if we can still walk in, though. I do not want to waste three nukes on the city. Uh, I don't want to waste the th third nuke. Wait a second. Are there bombers nearby? Yes, there are. Okay, so if I need to, I can move that carrier up north. Okay, so that's fine. Because we don't need anything else in here. I mean, there's not too many Ottoman naval uh, ships out here. Let's just move it up. Just a few tiles up north. And uh, now our bomber should have the range to reach the city. Perfect. This is going to work. Then the destroyer can go in after the next one. The destroyer can go in after it. Bam, take it over. Cool. That worked out pretty well for myself also. Uh, let's go ahead, obviously, annex it. I always, I don't know why, that, that window is always going to pop up, and I'm always going to think, should I raise it or should I puppet it? Uh, it's just not natural for me to think, oh, yeah, I'm just going to annex it. Totally not natural. I, I'm, used, I'm not used to having this tenant. Okay, so boom. Um, I think I'm going to keep that, the city of Athens located only exclusively for atomic bombs. Bombers can go inside of things like the carrier because this carrier does have an extra promotion giving them more opportunities. Extra flight deck, I guess. Uh, there's a bunch of bombers here. I guess I could have used these bombers. I never thought about that. Should we start to attack here? Ooh, no, that's not going to be too good. I'm, I imagine you have a lot of maybe triplanes. You have two triplanes. Okay. Okay, well, let's see. You heal. Um, you can go inside the carrier, too, because I believe we can carry at most four ships. I'm sorry, so four planes inside of that carrier. And uh, we'll keep everything else like that. Perfect. Here's an atomic bomb to... Resupply Athens with a full six. I really, really hope that Athens does not get nuked. I don't even know if the Ottomans have the Manhattan Project. I, I would think that they do, but I'm not sure. This also frees up a spot now for our submarines to help out and protect this city of the North Breast. Um, but I think it looks like we're fine. Yeah, I don't see too much here. Okay, so there's an ironclad. Let's let's take a shot at. Oh no. I'm not going to take a shot at it. I will try to let him come and engage our submarines. I don't want to get bombarded by the city and artillery and all this stuff. Really bad. Okay, where are we going to move this spy to? Now, I believe I only have sights on one Assyrian city. Yeah, that really sucks. Um, I'm going to keep those spies there for now. I mean, what's the point, I guess? Well, no, let's, let's, let's do something with that spy. Let's go inside of the Huns to make sure that he's not, you know, planning a sneak, a sneak attack against us. That might be a good idea. I don't know where to spy on. I have no idea. I'm a, I'm imagining his second biggest city. That's what am I thinking? That uh, that's the Ottomans. Drew, come on, the Huns. We don't even know if this is his capital. That's definitely not his capital. We don't have sights on his capital. Well, whatever. We'll keep him there. That way, I mean, it is it is a very big city that's closest to our territory, our empire's territory. So uh, if we have some sights in on it and we see some military move, units moving moving over towards our, our our borders, then yeah, we can probably try to prepare ourselves. Okay, you just work wealth for now. The international science, uh, what is it? International space station. There you go. Is uh, at fifty what seventy five percent completed. So that is going to help out Assyria. I'm assuming that they're the only nation that can really produce that much or, or throw so much hammers into something like the International Space Station at the moment just because everyone else is pretty worried about me, I, I assume. I hope they are worried about me. Making 521 gold per turn right now. So that's also pretty great. Wealth, so I don't have to keep looking at you guys. And we're moving in. Um, hmm. Okay, well, the good thing is this, this artillery unit can already hit the city. Bam, pretty nice. I can set up for a second attack next time. I can even do, a, like, a little swap here. Now, is there a specific artillery unit that's better? Oh, yeah, this guy has volley, so we definitely need to use him. Oh, nice, he can attack right now. Perfect. Well, that worked, so now I can pillage with this guy. We do need to prepare ourselves. You know what? We should probably switch spots. That way I can walk over here if I absolutely need to, if I can at least. Um, this guy's fresh. We're not going to take any shots at their carrier or their battleship, although it probably is smart. Oh, yeah, we will. Because we got all these bombers in here. Well, do we have any fresh ones? That's the question. For any fresh bombers, any ones that like aren't super hurting? I guess they're all all hurting. Okay. Well, still, I'm gonna take a sh few shots at this battleship. Try to do our best, the most damage that we can. Take him down, so he doesn't do s even more damage to our infantry unit. Boom. Okay. So everyone else can heal now. Do we get another great general? Why did it take us so long to get these great generals? I was begging for great generals earlier. That's weird. Okay, you can't attack anymore, but that's okay. 
I've got some more artillery units coming down. I guess one can go over here. The other one may be on this side, just in case we still need the extra help. Bombers, so you heal, I guess. Yeah, all the bombers should heal. But then we'll eventually move them to Attila's courts. Maybe they can attack Izmir if we need the extra help next turn. I don't think so. I don't think we're going to need it next turn. But just, just, you know, just to make sure, just to play it safe. Uh, trying to connect my city through railroads, via railroads, just in case, like, you know, city units in Iberia start being built up if we absolutely need them and they can get there as, as soon as possible to that northern uh, coast of the Black Sea. And you guys are going to stay there. Really, right now, the only people that can foil my plans are already somewhat dead units. Dead, dead, not dead units, dead civs, like Denmark, like Morocco, like specifically the Huns. Uh, those are, those are scary to me. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit worried about that situation happening. Uh, we're not going to move him anymore. Can't move him. Guess we should move him over this way. Bam. Okay, we're good. We're good. I'm just going to have, you know, I'm just going to delete you, make some more money. I probably don't even need to be work worried about my, my workers right now. And I have no idea what to do with the Great General, but I'll try my best to get him over into the front before we fight the Assyrians off. You can stay there and heal, and you can move up just in case we need your support. Okay, next turn. No, 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 I want my next turn. Uh, what are we bringing this guy over here for? Well, I guess he might as well come. It's too late now. Battleship, free battleship, good. We really needed an extra battleship uh, in this front of the Ottomans just because I feel like I don't have that much. Maybe it's just because I've got battleships, uh, a lot more battleships down here in the south, the southeast. In this front, I just feel like we only have like a little bit, and I always am like, wait, where are the rest of my battleships? I get confused for some reason by the icon as well. Uh, destroyers, battleships, they're like the exact same thing, and uh, it really confuses me. Like, what is the difference, honestly? Why One's facing right, one facing left. Come on. You couldn't have designed something a little bit more clear? And they come at the same point in the... In the technology tree, so it's like, oh, come on. Come on. I'm, I'm keeping a lot of units back in Iberia because I don't really want to move them. I think we're going to be just fine. Uh, with all the bombs and stuff like that we have a hold of, I think we'll be okay. So do I want to take a risk and put it in this city? I think we can, we can afford to take some risks because my battleships aren't doing anything. They don't have to do anything. There's no uh, Ottoman units coming after one of the two cities we've just taken over. So I'm going to move my battleships in range of a few of these guys. I can... Take this guy down for sure. Uh, do you guys not have extra range or what? Or, I mean, extra movement? Your movement seems really bad for some reason. And then we'll take out this artillery unit just to play it safe. I'd like to take that guy out, but I don't think I can. Uh, now, where'd that ironclad go? So, oh, there he is. Okay, there we go. So I should be able to get a shot in on him. Maybe two. Yeah, two. Here we go. Perfect. Bam. Cool. And I can even... Uh... No, I can't. Okay, well, I'm going to move these submarines closer to the carriers so they get a little bit scared. Uh, I'm not worried about the carriers. The carriers can't do anything to me, but I'm just saying uh, I'm still going to move them in. Okay, so what is this, a bomber? We could utilize a bomber. Did we just finish that? I'm assuming we did. Okay, well, you go to you go here. There's another atomic bomb for me. I, I swear we're getting atomic bombs like every turn. It's magnificent. It's glorious. Rome's about to build another one. Oh, my gosh, yes. Okay, so we better be bombing somebody. We need to bomb some city. I don't know what it's going to be. We can bomb Ist Istanbul. Seems a little bit premature to do that, though. I don't think it's the smartest idea. I mean, again, I, I don't like to just drop them all over the place. I've always thought of, you know, you should be very conservative with where you you use the bombs. Um, tactical nukes is, I guess, what I'm trying to say. I was, I've always been a tactical nuke guy. I don't, I'm not just dropping them everywhere. Can I? I guess I shouldn't even worry about the destroyer. I mean, sorry, the carrier unit. We'll do a shot at this battleship. Got a battleship here. Another battleship. Can we... Ah, uh, dang. Okay, I guess I'll put this guy in range because why not? Because I think I can take down this city with a few... Yeah, with the bombers, we should. Oh, yeah, boom. Okay, well, that should be enough, actually. We should be able to walk in with this destroyer unit, I'm thinking. Boom, yep, I think so. Bam. Annex the city at 81 happiness. It's, I swear we're ganging happiness every city we take. So that's good. Uh, then we can utilize the rest of the bombers to attack. Well, let's see here. These infantry units aren't really... They don't need to do anything else. So I guess I'll take a shot, a few shots at them if I can. Oh my gosh, you need to heal. You definitely need to heal. And we'll start to march our artillery units up north. 
Boom. Put somebody on the road here so we can get more sights. Oh, that's actually a good idea. I'll even move you over so I can remove some of the fog of war. Okay. Uh, can we do any strikes on anybody back this way? No, but I can move you forward. Let's go ahead and do that because this city's super safe. This battleship's done, and actually this is the logistics battleship, so we could have really used him. I, I shouldn't have been so careless with uh, the, the, my best battleship in my entire fleet, my entire Roman fleet. I was playing some risky stuff with them, getting them that low in health. Okay, that seems to be about it. Um, I actually don't have... Um, yeah, I don't, think, I don't think there's anything else that I can do. Actually, yeah, you know what I, I do need to do? I'd like to take out the carrier. I don't know what's inside that carrier, but it's a great war bomber. Let's just do it. Just to get rid of the possible, you know, extra damage we might take. Save a few turns with, you know, having someone heal or something like that. We've got enough units where we don't have to worry about that sort of stuff. But I don't know. I think that it's... It, I would say that definitely we need to be conservative with our turns. Can't just be doing whatever we want. Okay, so railroad there. And move you up north. Okay, bombers. Again, I think the Ottomans are running out of troops fast. We can start to make a landing inside of former Ottoman territory. I feel safe doing that. We'll probably move most of our fleets in there. I think I want to station, I want to continue to station the most of the atomic weapons inside of Athens. Just for safety, just for safety reasons. Okay, so choose this thing. Get, build me an atomic bomb, I guess. Oh, another battleship, perfect. Okay, so you guys go this way. I know you guys just got built, but I'm not going to do anything with you. Railroad. Railroad. Wait, you already built a railroad. Oh, nice. We do need to finish some of this fallout. I'm just going to delete this guy because I don't need him. I'll probably start... You know what? I think I should just delete all the workers. I don't think we really need them at this point. Uh, let's get him operational range. The bombers already have really nice range, so uh, I can use a little bit more. Why not, right? Why not? Can you get to Athens? In one turn? You can't. Okay, that's fine. I'll, I'll put, you, put you in Rome for now. Okay, so what about the northern front? I think that the Ottoman resistance is finally stopping. Let's go ahead and take over this northernmost city that Solomon controls. And boom. Oh, we actually can't. It's got pretty good defense here. We might even have to... Really don't want to instant heal, but at this point, it doesn't really matter. I'm just trying to take over cities as fast as I can, and we are. We're taking over a lot of cities really, really fast, and we're not even using our nukes. Like, can you imagine when we actually make it to the final uh, capitals, we'll be able to just nuke the crap out of it. We're to the point where we could probably use four nukes on something. Okay, boom, let's walk in there. Thank you very much. Another city under Roman control. I like it. Okay, you guys are going to maybe just get open terrain bonuses. And you heal inside there, Destroyer. Good job. Good job. Everyone else heal. I know you guys need to heal. We don't need your services at the moment. But I might want to move the overall carrier unit up north. Closer to the battlegrounds. Same thing goes for this battleship, just in case. I don't know how much resistance they're going to come back uh, to try to, you know, ret retrieve some of those cities. Don't really want to upgrade to a Destroyer, just because I do like having a, a Privateer... Possibly being able to steal away units. Okay, good job. Yeah, you guys are going to sleep. Same thing here. Okay, is that it? No, now we're going to move down south to Attila's Court, like we said. Wish there was an easier hotkey. Sometimes they give, like, these alt R's. Like, why? Why can't you... Why can't... Why does it have to be alt R? Why can't it be something simple? So I can press a button. Oh, gosh. And now I'm right-clicking. I think it should just be R, but I don't know. I know that R is probably used for something else, I guess. Okay, so yeah, we have a few city connections that just took place. Somebody's growing. I don't like that. I don't like happiness going on in the Roman Empire right now. It's not good. Okay, let's delete this guy. We did have a, another spy that's fled. Uh, we'll take him to, I don't really care, any Ottoman city at this point. And that's it. All right, guys, I'm off to stop right there. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.